Greetings in the name of Rod Newt. All that is good and great, all that is blessed and beautiful, all that is creative and conscious, and all that is positive and possible. May the warm sun rays greet you each and every day, and may your day always be full of joy. Hotep, I am Adiz Olabaya Bekoli, your host to Mind Vibes, Thoughts from a Curious Mind, a bi-monthly podcast series exploring and examining social phenomena then and now. Now, in this episode, this is going to be a special Mind Vibe episode in response to what happened at the Congress Oversight Committee hearing on May 16th. And I call this Girl, Baby, Girl, and Crockett's Pocket. But before we go there, hit that, ooh, excuse me. Before we go there, hit that like button, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Now, Girl, Baby, Girl, and Crockett's Pocket. Quote, unquote, you can lead a man to Congress, but you can't make him think. Milton Berle. Mean girl is a term used to describe, particularly in high school, young ladies that behave in a certain way, being obtrusive or having the attitude that they are somehow another badasses, or as the Jamaicans call them, quote-unquote, a rude girl. They tend to hang out in gangs and are just young ladies no one wants to keep company with. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is a congresswoman in Congress, is one of those girls, except she wields the influence by being a member of Congress, representing a county in the state of Georgia, which was gerrymandered after the 2010 census. Right? Now, I'm not going to go into all of that, but as uh, uh, Joe Scarborough, uh, Morning Joe, said, had that not happened, Marjorie Taylor Greene wouldn't be in Congress. Representing a district of any state, becoming a civil servant, serving your constituents used to be something to look up to. But as Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett correctly states, since the scent of the orange man, orange man, my definition, not hers, came into the halls of Congress, Congress has not been the same. I am paraphrasing Ms. Crockett's comment. You see, ever since, quote-unquote, MAGA, and MAGA is what uh, orange man term as make America great again. And so they just become, you know, a nutbag and a sickle fan of the orange man. An orange man uh, I always refer to as uh, Donald Trump. Right? Ever since MAGA has taken control, we have had nothing but utter contempt of governance, out-of-control hearings, along with a sea of chaos with no end in sight. And unfortunately, Thursday night had around 9 o'clock or so on May 16, 2024, the whole country, the whole world witnessed this dive into the chaotic sea of misfits and loonies with the MAGA sycophants of their leaders. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was correct when she stated to Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is one of those mean girls, quote-unquote, old girl, baby girl, don't even play. When coming to the defense of her fellow colleague, Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett, from the virtual from MAGA queen Marjorie Taylor Greene. Right? Now, here's what happened on that unfortunate day of one of those days in our histories that have been unfortunate, right? And I'm I'm only going to give you a snippet, you know. Now, the Oversight Committee, but just the background, the Oversight Committee was supposed to happen at 11 o'clock that morning, but because their sickle fence was up in the trial of Orange Man in New York City, it couldn't happen then. So it... uh, um, it started at 8 o'clock that evening. The Oversight Committee held by Chairman Comer 
to debate contempt charges against Attorney General Merrick Garland. Don't ask why. Ms. Green, with her uncouth manners, brought up a topic that had nothing, nothing to do with the hearing at hand. So, all Ms. Crockett inquire as to Ms. Ms. Green, does she know why this hearing is being called? Now, of course, Ms. Green thought it would be real cute trying to throw shade at Ms. Crockett by attacking Jasmine's eyelashes. This then opened up a can of whoop-ass, figuratively, on Ms. Green by Ms. Cortez and some others. Yet, it would be later that Ms. Jasmine put Ms. Crockett, Ms., no, no, I'm sorry, Ms. Jasmine put Ms. Green in her pocket. She put her in her back pocket by stating if it would be against the rules to mention someone's quote-unquote bleach blonde bad built butch body. Oh, oh, mwah. yes. Now, of course, this did not go unnoticed to Miss Green when she thought she was clapping back by suggesting that her body at the age of 50 is somewhat in the best of shape. Almost like what her cult leader was dealing with with the idea of his weight clocking in at 215, which we all can see that is not the case. It took MAGA Congresswoman Luna out of Florida to try to be patronizing by telling Ms. Crockett with an underlying extension to the rest of the black women and women of color, they need to quote unquote calm down. I guess she was desiring to play perhaps mother. Of course it fell flat, but that's MAGA. Right? I mean this this was this is a battle at the OK Canal. The OK Corral, yeah. But you don't do that. You know, you don't want to attack somebody's, you know, what they wear or, or their features or them. You you don't do that. But because Orange Man did it with a um a handicapped person or person with disability, you know, then they, they figure they can sit down there and just do that. And that's not right. And there are there are rules. The house has rules against that. You know? Ooh, excuse me. Now many, of course, in the MAGA ecosphere wanted to demonize both Miss Crockett and Miss Cortez of being quote unquote uncivil or being quote unquote angry. And so too some quote unquote well meaning liberals. They felt that this chaos that erupted like a volcano in the house could have been avoided, I'm assuming, if these quote unquote women of darker hues kept their cool. I believe they wanted to harken back on to Michelle Obama's idea of when they go low, we go high. Of course, that's a cute sentiment when you are not the one catching the heat. These wonderful sisters of color have had to keep the MAGA house at bay when the MAGAs took, or took control because it's plain to see they have no understanding of how to govern, let alone be considerate not only of their fellow colleagues or their constituents. But perhaps their constituents are happy living in their misery. Uh-huh. Miss Crockett had to put Miss Green in her pocket, her back pocket, as she often does with the MAGA idiots who have taken over the house. As she says in one of the hearings that she was uh, dealing with, and this is paraphrasing her, I don't know how y'all are still standing from all that spinning y'all be doing. Yet, this is what we as blacks and other people of color have to go through especially our women. They are either uneducated and non-intelligent, as Maga Green asserted that Ms. Cortez is not, which is why Queen Maga had consistently and still does try to challenge Ms. Cortez to debate her. I don't know what for, but perhaps that's Ms. Green's idea of quote-unquote owning a progressive woman of color. 
But you do know that Miss Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez did, you know, graduate, I believe, from Boston University with an exemplary, um, 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 with an, an, an exemplary grades. I believe she was at the top. I don't know if she was valedictorian, but she was at the top of her class, you know. And she did take, I believe, her major or, or maybe her minor was in poli sci. So what is Ms. Green going to debate that beautiful, intelligent, boogie down Bronx Hispanic sister? What she, what she, going, what, what, what she got to say? However, this is still the situation we are in. Even Jake Chopper of CNN tried to, tried to, in a slick, sly way, shift the blame onto Miss Crockett. Tried to make it a bothism event, of which it clearly was not. Yet that's what we continuously face. Now I have to say to y'all. Y'all have to look at this because this is what our Congress has come down to, even last year in the Senate. You know, you, you got a, 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 a MAGA nutbag in the Senate, you know, you're being, you know, uh, being challenged by the team, uh, the, one of the union team's leader, says, you know, you want to come on down? We can boogie down. That's what this Congress has come to. That's what the Senate has come to. Right? Just this pure, unadulterated um, lack of sensibility and being able to govern. And that, you know, that, that, that's just real, but it, it, it shouldn't be. Right? But watching this, as Roland did on his unfiltered show, Roland Martin Unfiltered, he was he, he was delighted, and he would say that was delicious. Maga Green got put into Crockett's pocket, the back pocket, while Miss Cortez let her and Comer know that this is not going to go down today. This simply is not as as Alexandria Ocasio Cortez would say. No, not today. This is not going to happen today. Or as Captain Bill Kilgore would say in Apocalypse Now, Charlie, don't serve. But we cannot have this if we are to build a road to a functional utopia. We cannot have our leaders be in this kind of state of chaos. It serves nobody. And it makes us look like fools, and it makes us seem like we can't get our act together, we can't get our house together. This has got to change, right? And my fear is that with people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, because they become emboldened, right? And that's why Jasmine Crockett had to say, no, you give her an inch, she'll take a mile. You have to stop a bully, just like... Uh, um, uh, George Conway would say, you know, well, I don't see why you all are so woo uh, with the orange man. All he is is a baby Huey. He's a baby kid in, in the sand. He'd be just be a bully. What do you do with a bully? Once you smack a bully, oh, okay. But we cannot continue on this road because that kind of virt ritual tends to lead to a violent and physical altercation. And that is not something we should not you know, adhere to. Right? But this is this all about a bank holder saying, may we all strive to bend the justice to humanity and believe that love and peace can be achieved. Fantastic peace.